Good morning, Annelin. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, Annelin, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. I'm Annelin T. Alipio. I'm 34 years old. I live in Purok City, Baleti Street, Poblacion, Bayugan, Agosan, Del Sol. I'm married. I have three kids, ma'am. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer. Yes, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because I want to help my family, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because I want to experience this country, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? I qualify this job, ma'am, because I'm a mother and I know what's the housing course. Okay, may I know what your educational level is? I'm high school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? In hospital cleaners, ma'am, in Saudi Arabia. And only I, I worked there in eight months, ma'am. Only eight months. Okay. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am, because I'm a mother and I have my own child and I taking care of my... I taking care of the child of my previous employer. Okay. How about elderly people? No, ma'am, but I am willing to learn, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yeah, no, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. In Filipino food, ma'am. How about other dishes like Chinese food, European, Indian food, and Malay food? No, ma'am, but I am willing to learn, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? All, all of them, ma'am, and like especially taking care of baby, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My sister, ma'am, and my mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, yes. your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Respectful, working, hardworking, and lovable for the child, ma'am. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I assure you, I assure you, ma'am, 100%, I will obey your rules and regulations, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am, I promise, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. I'll promise, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. I'll promise, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. I'll promise, ma'am. 
Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as no, a maid? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. I'll promise, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Annelene, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case yes. study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival here in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will continue my my contract, ma'am, and I will finish my contract. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I want to work in Malaysia, ma'am, as domestic helper because I want to help my family. Okay, Aniline, what do you want yes. to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Good morning, madam, sir. I'm Aniline T. Alipio. If you choose me as your housemaid, I'll promise you, sir, I will obey and I will obey your rules and regulations. Okay, thank you very much, Aniline. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, thank you, ma'am.